Earlier this week, the Trump administration said it would ask respondents to the 2020 census if they were American citizens. Yeah, it's the citizenship question. Twelve states, you see them on your screen, they are planning to sue the administration. Those states' attorneys general say it will cause fewer Americans to be counted, an undercount by any other name. Ohio Congressman Warren Davidson is with us now, and he voted in favor of that question being put on the 2020 census. Congressman, why did you vote in favor of that question? I think it's very critical. Without knowing who the citizens are, states that have large illegal populations, like California, gain extra representatives. Let's say the population, the illegal population in California is two and a half to three million. You know, they're getting three or more extra members of Congress all year. And at the presidential election, they get extra three extra electoral votes. So that hurts people in states like Ohio, where we don't have as many illegal folks. We have some, sure. Uh, but why would non-citizens be counted for apportionment purposes? Uh, and then there's the concern about funding. And so the, the extra funding for illegals, uh, while they are providing services for them, that's kind of the point. We shouldn't be providing services for illegals. And California and Chicago and others have gone so far uh, as to make it illegal to cooperate with federal authorities to enforce uh, citizenship laws, immigration laws. And there's only one jurisdiction for that. It's federal. So it has to preempt state and local. You can't have a patchwork of state and local uh, laws deciding who's a citizen and who's not. It, there's U.S. citizenship. Can you deal with the undercount question? If you do ask, are you an American citizen, you can probably expect that some people will just not answer the question or not even answer the census. There will be an undercount. How would you deal with that? Why would an American citizen decline to answer that? And if a non-citizen declines to answer it, uh, then you know, that's the point. Now, if people just leave it blank, it does create a problem. And that's the challenge. Do we have a, a census that only goes by an actual count, a physical count? Does it go door to door? Uh, what role does sampling play? And that's been controversial in the past as well in terms of how to conduct a correct census. But, you know, as you highlight, 12 uh, attorneys general suing the United States, uh, in the current language, the, the uh, amendments uh, in the 14th Amendment and others uh, have left some question as to how to correctly count that. This, this will uh, unquestionably be litigated, and I've got a constitutional amendment proposed, H.J. Res. 106, that would leave us where we don't have to hope, we can know. It would amend the Constitution to make it clear that for apportionment purposes, only U.S. citizens count. Okay. Good luck with amending the Constitution, Congressman. But look, thanks very much for being with us this morning, sir. We do appreciate it. Warren Davidson, Republican, Ohio. Thank you, sir.